Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, video on kind of Ubuntu, but pretty much on anything. Um, today I'm going to be talking about two of my favorite text editors. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be talking about Gedit and uh, Sublime Text 2. Um, now, Gedit is a Linux specific, but um, it's still really good if you're using a Linux system. I really like it a lot. And for those of you that don't have Linux, Sublime Text 2 is um, for any other uh, operating system. It works on Mac, it works on Windows. Back when I was using a Windows computer, that's what uh, I used for the longest time. Um, and it also works on Linux, obviously, because I'm about to show you it. So, uh, first off, Gedit um, is, like I said, it's Linux specific, and you can actually get it just from the Ubuntu Software Center. Type in Gedit. Oops, capital. Really excited about Gedit. Um, you can uh, find it right here. It's, it's the first one. It doesn't specifically say Gedit, but that's what it is. Uh, it'll just say text editor. As you can see, it gets really great reviews. Um, it's an amazing text editor. I already downloaded it. All you'd have to hit is install though, and it would install everything for you. Um, you can read a little bit about it if you want to. Um, now the next one, uh, Sublime Text 2, uh, it isn't in the uh, Ubuntu Software Center, but it's not very hard to download. Um, all you have to do is go to your terminal and type in these commands here. Uh, this will just add the, uh, the repository that contains Sublime Text 2. Um, then you update the system so that way everything's up to date and you install Sublime Text 2. Um, so like I said, pretty simple. After that all you have to do is go up here and type in Sublime Text 2 and it'll show up whenever you, uh, you want to run it. Alright, now I'll just do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the, uh, the two editors. So we get Gedit, which uh, by default will look a little different. Um, just going to preferences. By default, it'll have the classic theme here, so it'll be a white background. Um, but it still, you know, still looks nice. If you want, you can uh, download uh, other color schemes. It comes with uh, a few um, other color schemes by default, but I've added a lot more because I think originally it didn't even scroll. But um, if you want to add more color schemes to it. Um, like I've added, uh, I think I had Espresso Libre, Dark Max, um, Mustang Omega, Tango. A lot of these I added. Um, I prefer a darker theme. My favorite is VS Dark. If you want to add more, you can literally Google um, Gedit color schemes, and you should find a website that allows you to download them. And then once you've downloaded them, you hit the plus button or install scheme, and you go to where you've downloaded them, and you just double click on it and add it. Um, they're just XML XML files, so. Um, so yeah, mine's VS Dark, so I'm gonna leave it that. Um, and uh, I'll just open a file to demonstrate what it kind of looks like uh, when you have file open. Hold on. Right, it looks like I can't. Hold on. There you go. Just had to reconnect to the server. Um, so when you open up like a PHP file or whatever. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. Um, this is the default size. If I make it a little bigger, you'll be able to see a little more. So, as you can see, this you know, this is my color scheme. It'll look different with different color schemes, but that's the basic idea. It looks really nice. Looks really clean. Um, I like how simple it is. I mean, it could be simpler, but I like how simple it is already. So, um, and then Sublime Text 2 uh, looks similar, but a little bit different. Um, as you can see, they both kind of use a tabbing system, so instead of opening a new window every time you open a new tab, um, you can just tab back and forth within the same window, which is really nice, I think, personally. Um, this is also not the default theme for Sublime Text 2, but um, I, I personally, it's more, my favorite theme, so it's the one I use. Um, you can also add more themes to Sublime Text. This one has like a package manager that allows you to add themes straight from the actual thing, which is kind of nice. Um, but you don't have to do that, you could just leave it with the, the default theme for Sublime Text 2 is amazing um, by itself, so I wouldn't worry about it. It starts with the default dark theme, which I like a lot. Um, uh, between the two, they're, they're both, they both can be, can be really simple or they both can be more in-depth, depends on your level of involvement. They both have um, kind of like terminals and plugins that you can add to them. Um, I think of the two, Sublime Text has a lot more features and it has a lot more, you can go a lot more in depth in changing everything. 
but um, you can still do a lot with uh, gedit. My personal favorite is Sublime Text 2. It's the one I use for most of everything that I do. Um, so if you're running any system, you can run Sublime Text 2. But on uh, for Linux, just for like a basic, per, uh, basic text editor, gedit's amazing. Uh, I used it for the longest time before I found Sublime Text 2. So it's really good editor. Um, they're both simple, but they can be more complex if you need them to be. So I think they're they're both really great editors. Uh, you should definitely give them both a try if you can. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, I can pretty much do whatever you guys want me to do. Uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. Bye.